an ideal dog for first-time pet owners. They are very affectionate with their humans and patient with children. Okay, 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 okay. You're gonna be okay. And conveniently, they come in three different sizes. This is Miko, and he's a six-year-old mini American Eskimo. These little white dogs were originally used to perform all kinds of tasks on Midwestern farms. And later, due to their intelligence, eager to learn, and mesmerizing talents and agility, they became famous circus performers. Despite them being called American Eskimos, they actually have no relation to the indigenous people who were once referred to as Eskimos. Good boy. Good boy. The American Eskimo was originally known as the American Spitz, as they derived from the German Spitz. Their name was changed in 1917, due to ongoing prejudice behavior against all things German during World War I. They come in three sizes. Toy, which weigh between 6 and 10 pounds. Miniature, which weigh between 10 and 20 pounds and standard, which weigh between 25 and 35 pounds. These dogs are so intelligent that they are known to be one of the smartest dog breeds in the world. You're shedding lots and lots of hair. But with intelligence comes stubbornness. Despite being wonderful family companions, they do need a home where obedience will be practiced. They are also very vocal little dogs and barking can become a problem if not corrected at an early age. If left alone for long periods of time, boredom can lead to excessive barking and destructive chewing. As you can tell, these smiling little clouds are also excessive shudders. Out of all the super fluffy dog breeds, I would say the American Eskimo's coat is a lot easier to maintain than that of the Pomeranian or the Kazand. Even without frequent brushing, it is rare for me to see matting on this coat type. Although an owner should always be encouraged to brush their dog, this dog's coat seems to require a lot less maintenance. And yes, he is as soft as he looks. Good boy, Nico. Good boy. You're okay. You're so stressed out. Sorry. I gave him a good brushing with my coral slicker brush and metal comb, and Miko looks like he lost 10 pounds of fur. I clip his nails. Good boy. What a good boy. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Good boy. Assuming these back ones, yeah, are super short. It's just the front ones. If the front ones are short, you can almost always assume that the back ones are non existent. I shave out his paw pads. And of course, I tidy up his Grinch feet. Good boy. 
I sprayed him down in blueberry bubblegum cologne. All done! And Miko is all finished. If you liked this video, please don't forget to support the channel by hitting that subscribe or follow button. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the majestic Miko.